Hello everyone. In this video, let's see how to calculate employee provident interest in Excel. So I have two tabs here. One is the current year and the next year. So the current year, end of the year, you have the balance of 39,004. So, so, so same amount is carried for for the next year as a previous balance and based on this including the current year uh, employee employer contribution the interest is calculated and here is the end balance to showcase how the previous balance is carried forward for the current year and then how the calculation is done so I have created two tabs so now before uh, getting to these details for the next year first go to the previous year to see the basic understandings and uh, this tracker is absolutely free if you are interested you can download from the link provided in the description below so to start with we have basic and da of 20000 so again this uh, tracker is uh, flexible so for example i have taken as 20000 and if you want to make changes like for example let's make it as 16500 you just need to make this uh, changes here and if you press enter uh, the employee share employer share the interest amount and the balance will change according to this amount so let me press here you can see all this information got changed so let me go back to the previous amount of 20,000 for that I press ctrl Z from the keyboard then you have the previous balance amount so assuming that this person has started for the first time there is no previous balance amount and hence we have zero so interest rate between April 22 to March 23 we have 8.10 percent uh, this is the interest rate which is fixed by the government every year so last time they fixed as 8.1 percent and then you have the details uh, here month on month from March to February and then you have the basic uh, the employer share contribution let me remove this and explain you how to calculate so employee share as you might already know so 12% of your basic and DA is what you contribute to uh, employee provident fund to calculate that is equal to you need to take your basic and DA multiplied by uh, 12% so uh, since I need to exchange this formula until February I will also lock this D5 so that this 20,000 remains same across the month for this I just press F4 from the keyboard to lock this press center and now let me exchange this formula so for this this we have a small square button on the right uh, extreme down so I just double click on this it will exchange the formula now you have the employee share as 12% of your basic and this is the monthly contribution so let's uh, see what is the total contribution until end of the year for this I just use some function is equal to sum and then I go up until March and press center I get the uh, total sum of employee share of 12% now let's calculate the employer share for this uh, uh, for employer share as uh, employee contributes 12% similarly even employer has to share uh, contribute 12% uh, of basic and DA however for employee provident fund only 3.67 percent will come towards employee P uh, EPF and remaining 8.33 percent will go to EPS that is employee pension scheme so let's calculate this uh, is equal to uh, you have again basic of 20,000 I press F4 to lock the cell multiplied by 3.67 percent press center and now let's exchange the formula in this time I just copy this uh, come down until the last row and then just copy paste this and here sorry and now uh, I just use the sh uh, shortcut for some some function that is alt is equal to press center you have this uh, employer share now let's calculate the interest rate for each month for this uh, so you have the interest rate of 8.1 percent and this is for the annually annual interest rate to calculate monthly interest all you need to do is select this I will also lock this by pressing a 4 divided by 12 because 12 months in a year press enter you get the monthly interest rate and then just drag this until here so you get the monthly interest rate then you will calculate the interest amount so before uh, so interest amount is uh, the formula will be 
what you have the previous balance the balance of previous month multiplied by interest rate so before we calculate the interest rate uh, let's calculate the previous month balance first so for previous month's balance what I do is I take the previous month's uh, previous year balance plus March month uh, employee share 12% and employer share of 3.67% of the March month press center I get the uh, balance so the first month you will not have the interest because the interest is calculated uh, based on the end month balance so for the month of March you calculate uh, the interest in the month of April so it means is equal to what we have the previous month's balance multiplied by multiplied by and the interest rate press center this is the interest rate uh, interest amount what you earn for the March month that is in April so let me extend this formula so here is the total interest what you earn uh, for the uh, 2022 and 23 and now for the previous month's balance the formula we already seen like uh, even let me show you for the one of the month for a, for example let's see in the October so what we do is again the previous month balance plus current month employee contribution current month employer contribution so end of year so this is the interest amount like 1396 is what you earn and also the balance is uh, to calculate the total balance of plus interest so what you need to do is is equal to you just need to take the previous month's balance plus the total interest amount earned plus center you get the uh, uh, year end balance what you have in the employee provident fund so this is the 39,004 is what you have from the previous year and I go to the next year at the same I have linked here is equal to uh, uh, go to current year I just select this 39,004 press center so you have this previous month balance now again it's the same calculation for the next year so basic and DA previously I was had 20,000 and this year I'm taking as 22,000 and then previous balance you have and then interest rate between April and March it is uh, 23 to March 24 it is 8.35 percent and just an assumption uh, then you have this uh, March calculation everything remains same what we did in the previous uh, uh, for the current year and only changes what we have here is earlier we did not had the previous month's balance because it was zero and this time we have 39,004 which is carried from the last year so otherwise um, everything remains same and end of the year again this is the interest to what you earned like 4,568 and then the total balance uh, after second year is 84,941 so you can see there is a good amount of uh, changes in the interest amount compared to the previous month because it was like smaller amount here and here it is bigger because of compounding uh, interest